Puppeteer is a project from Google that lets you create an instance of Chrome that is headless. And given the complexity and the challenge of debugging the web environment, being able to create a programmatic version of a browser where you can click buttons, you can take screenshots of the page, and other such things turns out to be a really useful thing. Now, Puppeteer in itself is not a testing framework, but you can use it in conjunction with many of the other ones that exist in the market. So as you can see here, here's the project page and pretty soon on the page, we should be able to see the hello world. And as you can see, this one is simply navigating to a URL and taking a screenshot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you that here. I have created a project and the only module that I have added to this project. So if we look here at package is the puppeteer. And you can see here, this downloads everything you need to be able to create that instance of the headless browser. So it's pretty self-contained, pretty portable. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you next the, the, the code for that hello world where we're gonna to navigate to a site and create a screenshot. And I've just called it screenshot. And as you can see there, it is pretty short. The first line creates an instance of Puppeteer then it creates a new page, which is equivalent to a new tab, and navigates to MIT's web page, and then I take a screenshot of that page. Remember, this is the full browser that you have a handle on here, so creating a picture of the screen or clicking on the buttons is possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this, and in a moment, that will execute. That created a full instance of the browser, it rendered the page, it then took a screenshot. So I'm going to now open uh, that page. And because the MIT page is very long, you can see here that <laughs> it doesn't all fit in the recording window, but you get the idea that the whole pa page is there. Now this could be useful if you're trying to test rendering and you're trying to make comparisons uh, throughout the days. Uh, the other one that I have here, let me go ahead and list my files, is that of a title. In this one, I'm simply gonna to navigate to an Amazon uh, page and I'm going to look at the, at the title of a book. And so if we take a look at that code, you'll see there that it is also pretty short. We navigate to that page, but in this case, we're navigating to specific div and look bringing that back. So I'm going to go ahead and run this now, node title, and you can see that the, a lot of the things that execute on that page are taking place, and ultimately we do get back, this is just the page of a book, and you can see there that the title of the book is now written to the console. So this is a pretty useful uh, capability when it comes to testing, and this is something that potentially we will use ourselves.